not wake up all night, which was good, but I did wake up at four in the morning when Sebastian woke me up. And then I couldn't get back to sleep till close to five and my alarm goes off at 5.30, so that sucked. But we just need to work through his nighttime issues. But good morning. It is Tuesday. I am dressed to be a fake teacher, sort of. I'm still in slippers. Don't feel 100% comfortable in this, and we'll probably change later. <laughs> the sweater dress is a little awkward. The way they put the waist is almost at my hips, but not all the way at my hips, so it's really awkward, but it's super soft and cute and I've had it forever and I just don't have teacher clothes, so I don't know. <sighs> no thank you. There's probably a squirrel. No! No squirrels. Leave, leave it. Leave it. You leave it. You leave it. You leave it. Leave it. Shh. No bark. No bark. No, you leave it. Oh my goodness. He's really into that. This morning, stop. I had to get Sebastian going. He did not come down. He's been coming down in the mornings because I started opening his blinds at bedtime. If it was a school day the next day, so the light wakes him up. That's made our mornings easier, but he slept through that because he was up at 4 a.m. But we also had to get his homework journal picked up. We didn't get to finish him. Stop! Gigantic bunny running for our yard. <laughs> so he was eating breakfast and I was making lists of things he needed to make lists of. I need to clean out that backpack if that's what I'm bringing tomorrow. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, now it's time for me to make breakfast and lunch for Jack's. Hopefully breakfast is sorted. Yesterday I had to make him an egg sandwich. But today he's probably gonna want a donut because they're new. And I need to do my Korean lesson. Drive him to school. I need to eat. I need to detangle this <laughs> mess. Recurl it so I can have it down. It's still a little damp. It's drying. I haven't brushed it yet. That's my status. I'm gonna move on with my day.
my friends. It's been a day. <laughs> I might look bedraggled. I just ran as fast as I could around the block to the alley because I heard blood curdling screams and I was sure Sebastian was laying bloody somewhere. Because he's a screamer when he gets hurt, but it was his friend's little brother just having a tantrum in his backyard that he couldn't go out in the alley. All is well. Anyway, hi, hello. I survived day one of classroom coverage. <laughs> so, I don't even remember if I talked to you. I think I did. It was a bit of a rough night, but yeah, I got to the school early, probably a half an hour early. They went over what I was gonna be doing. It's just the same that I had already read. Gave me a packet of stuff and an envelope for each class with a class list. And who was out, who was absent, nurses notes. And then one of my classes had a craft as well. My first two were pick them up from lunch and go to the recess. So I went to the lunch room. They were actually down one person, somebody called out. But the fifth grade is on a field trip, so that helps. But I was like, I'll just grab some gloves and help you because I'm early and then I'll do what I gotta do. So 10 minutes of lunch duty, I think, is what I did. And then I got ready to pick up a first grade class and actually the teacher was in the hall when i was coming out i think somebody probably caught her and told her oh hey you get to have a break but she thought it was 15 minutes and it's actually like a half an hour that she would have gotten but she caught me in the hall she's like oh they need to go back to their room and get their coats we were told that we were going to do it differently from normal to keep it simple and they would give us laundry baskets that we would put all their lunch gear in and they'd just go straight out. But it was cold and rainy, like sprinkling, not enough to cancel outdoor recess for that session. It did get canceled later, but... So I was like, I'm just gonna do what the teacher says. We can put our lunch boxes away. So I ditched the basket in the hall and we went to their classroom. The teacher was there too, she was getting her stuff settled so she could go off and take her little break. I think they could also sign up for massages, which one of the teachers I covered did do. But yeah, and then I took them out while well, they took me out. <laughs> I was like, lead the way, friends. I did get a head count. I didn't do attendance. All you could do, it's chaos. All we could do was get a head count. And in our little PTA meeting afterwards, what can we improve for tomorrow? It was like getting them out of the lunchroom and getting the head counts and stuff. So hopefully having like signs of the teacher's name will help and I don't know. It was sprinkling on and off, chilly. I had a sticky note with kids that had five minute timeouts at recess that I had to do. So a wonderful little helper found them all for me and sent them to the benches and I counted down their minutes and then they got to go play. So we got to stick with that. I let the teacher know. She was so wonderful. I loved her. She's an amazing teacher and such a nice person. <laughs> and yeah. So I just had to cut that out. So she actually came outside after 15 minutes. And I'm like, you, you still have time. She's like, no, I'm good, I'm good. And there were two other moms who were covering at the time. We all had a first grade class out there. Mine was the only one whose teacher <laughs> showed up, which they weren't supposed to. We were supposed to deliver the kids to the classrooms. But ultimately they had changed the schedule so that we could move on to our next group and we we're supposed to bring them in for recess early. And since there were enough teachers out there, they were like, we'll keep them out for their full recess you ladies go on and get your next group so that one was done we had a second recess immediately after with fourth grade so all three of us went in and we got our next group and 
that was chaotic. Like, it was supposed to be that they would have them lined up and we would get them and just go. But I was having to like go to one of the lunchroom monitors that I know and like, so which is Mr. Mm -mm's table? And they tell me down, I'm like, hi guys, this is Mr. Mm -mm's table. And they're like, oh my God, what happened to him? Which I thought was so sweet. I'm like, no, 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 he gets a break. I'm just gonna take you to recess. So. I had made the decision I was going to take them back to their rooms so that they could put their lunch boxes away and get their coats. So I step out. I'm like, okay, we're going to go get your coats. And they're like, no, we want to just go out there. I'm like, okay, just, just do it. And then two of them are like, hey, I'm going to go to the bathroom. And they're like, pshaw, pshaw. and there's kids just, I'm like, didn't get a head gout. <laughs> they're just out. They were just out. I'm like, all right. And I head out. And there was one fourth grade teacher out there plus a gym teacher the gym teacher was playing basketball so well I first went to back over to the first grade teacher because there was overlap and she's like she talked to me for a while and, so, and said so those are the fourth grade teachers over there and that's where the kids will expect you so I went over there and <laughs> sure enough my teacher I was covering shows up after like 15 minutes and he just joins the basketball game <laughs> But I stayed out there the whole time. It started really raining at the end, really raining. But they stayed out for it all. And then I went over, I didn't want to interrupt this game and said, hey, I was the one that brought your kids out. It was really chaotic. Did not get to count them. So we'll do a head count now. <laughs> they were all there. We did a head count. But yeah, then I walked with them in. I don't have a sub badge for this. It's just a volunteer badge. So I can't get into the building once we go out. So they have to walk all the way around the building. And it was really coming down and really chilly, really chilly. I was did not have a coat. I was wearing a thinner sweater dress to try and look more teachery. And I had to go straight, <coughs> excuse me, straight from that to pick up one more class of second graders to do the, it was just like a worksheet activity. I'm a little worried that they wouldn't be into it, but it was totally fine. I could not get a head count on them because there was multiple classes all lined up and because they were signing posters that were on the wall about I love my teacher and the lines kept mixing and I didn't know who was in my group and oh my god I tried again and again I get out in the hall and there's a PTA volunteer I'm like I cannot get a head count and she's like you want me to stop them and we can count really quick, but there was already half of them like around the corner. I'm like, I'll just, I'll get it at the classroom. So we walked down the hall and one of them followed me and I did a head count at the desk. So it was, it was the right number. Uh, it was a very small class, normally 19, which is tiny. My, my son's class is 25, but three were out, so 16. There was an aide who was at the doorway and she looked a little confused and concerned when I showed up and said, hi, I'm gonna be covering until the teacher comes back. We've got a little activity. She encouraged them to go to their desks. And yeah, I just kind of dove in and stood up there and tried to make my voice loud and asked for eyes on me and introduced myself and told them what we were gonna do. I asked them if they knew that it was teacher appreciation week and Ask them what they, if they knew what a passport is, because it's a little passport, and what do you use a passport for? And we're gonna make one with reasons why your teacher deserves a vacation. Do you have any thoughts on why she deserves a vacation and what she does to help you? So we did actually probably do about five or so minutes of brainstorming. And then I went ahead and handed them out and I showed them that I had a little sticker sheet with their pictures, their school pictures. They thought that was cool. So yeah, they went in, a couple needed help with some spelling, not much, just gonna rain the expressions out there. They were getting really creative and yeah, nobody complained. They were getting up a little bit, but such a small number of students for the room that it, it really wasn't too bad. I did notice they got up after that aid and left. I don't know if she had something to do or she just decided, okay, she's, got this enough, <laughs> enough. Everybody was so kind and it was a very well behaved class. So it went well and I was left feeling confident with my little pile of completed passports to give to the PTA. They're gonna 
put them in passport books and give them to the teachers as part of their gifts. Yeah, and then we just, they were out in the lobby and they just kind of had a brain dump, what can we improve on? And so I appreciated that though. I felt very awkward with the three ladies sitting there. I still feel like the weirdo homeschooler, weird, gothy, crunchy mom. I don't know how to explain that. It's just what I feel like. But I've trained myself to talk to people. When I worked in customer service, it doesn't come natural to me. I look them in the eye. And then when I have a group of more than one people, every like five seconds or so, I make myself go like that and look across <laughs> all of the eyes. <sighs> I don't know if anybody else thinks about that nonstop while they're talking and hear their voice coming out of their mouth as they're talking, but I do. So it was, it was weird. I feel like I don't fit into situations, especially adulty situations. When will I feel adult? <laughs> anyway, that was it. I went and grabbed Starbucks because apparently I had a triple sorbet. So this is just a hot tea. I should add some more water to it. Can you see it? Peach tea. I get the grande because it gives me two tea bags. And when I get down to here, it's cold. I'm gonna add a little bit more hot water and I get slightly weak tea, but it's still yummy and a croissant and grabbed a couple things from Lidl next door got home just in time to go to the bus stop and get fashion. but when I was at first grade recess I saw his teacher she wasn't being covered his class got their activity sent home and she said it was a hard day that she's trying to work on the book project and it's hard to get everybody to finish so I think I said that I ordered a book that his class is doing and I'm like, oh man, Sebastian better actually do his. I jumped right in. I was like, Sebastian's one of the ones not doing it, isn't he? She's like, yes. I'm like, send it home to me. Just tell me what to do. Send it home to me. She's got three other students who haven't even started. He has a start at least. It's kind of a disaster. I had to go onto the publisher's website and print out a new sheet because this is he just went in with a sharpie instead of pencil first i will offer to sharpie his pencil so he doesn't have to write it twice but i'm gonna get organized and rewrite this so he can actually see what he's copying i think that's where he went awry and yeah so i said just send it home we'll do it i'm gonna offer him a prize because this is a big deal this is a big project so while he's out there, hopefully he's coming back in soon because I keep telling him he needs to. I will get this all set. Maybe I will draw a couple example pictures so he doesn't feel overwhelmed doing his. That usually inspires him a little. And I'm doing some end weaving so that the tails are nice and short. So I might work on that while I wait. I have hiccups. Yeah, that's my update. I shouldn't need to talk to you for too long tonight. So yay for me. so tired <sighs> it is 7 49 i guess since i last saw you i went out and got sebastian and brought him in for a while he finished 
the writing for his book page by basically I put mine under his so he could see it. We shined a light through it like a light box so he could see what words so he didn't have to keep going back and forth. I did tell his teacher we did that. That made copying it over much faster. This was his writing that he had already written out an outline for me. He needed to rewrite it on the page. Hopefully it's okay that I printed out a new page from the publisher's website. They sell, well they didn't sell, they had downloads for replacement sheets and his first one was just a disaster. So hopefully that's okay. But we did that and then <coughs> I convinced him to, sorry, I just took my vitamin and it's really sour. And since I'm phlegmy, I was making the phlegm tickle. Then I convinced him to draw his picture. It's like which I want to be when I grow up and he chose firefighter. So I had drawn two sample drawings to kind of inspire him and he went off of kind of a mashup, I guess. He mostly the one of firefighter putting out a fire with his own style of person, which I love. And then he added some trees that I had had in another one. And then I let him off the hook and let him go play until Danny came home from running errands. He replaced the shower, well he sent back a shower valve that we need to have replaced because it's really beat up. And yeah, somebody returned it probably and we got their sloppy seconds. And he stopped at Costco for medicine and picked up some pay away for dinner. While they were all out, I was tracing with Sharpie all the words and then the drawing so that it would be ready for him to color in after dinner. When Danny got home, I went out and got Sebastian. We ate. We had a little bit of time, like an hour or so. I convinced him to color his picture and he did it in about 15 minutes. So we had plenty of time to just sit and chill for a little bit. I was doing the unfun task of weaving in all the ends I have so far on that Kiwi hat and there's so many, so many, but they're getting in the way and I just need them out so that I can continue on and make a million more. <sighs> but then, here we are. I just put the clean sheets on Sebastian's bed because I had stripped them off last night at 4 in the morning. <laughs> present me thanks past me for washing them first thing in the morning knowing that I'd get too busy anyway on the docket for tomorrow waking up getting the kids ready for school getting Sebastian off to school getting Jack's ready getting him off to school coming home eating breakfast and doing 12 beer label edits nothing new so should just be like an hour ish We'll see. So that should be fine. And then, what time do I need to be at the school? I don't know. I was really confused about the times because they were rapping on my phone and I thought it said I was there till 12, 2, 20. And I'm like, the school's not even open that late. But it turned out the one was on the previous line. So I was like really thrown off. Is this gonna tell me? Maybe if I click on calendar. Sorry, you're shaking my numb hand. Today, tomorrow, yeah, I need to adjust <laughs> the time because I have it as 2.20. It looks like I need to get there around a little bit before 11 and I think I'm out of there at 12.30. So that's actually good. I could even do those labels in the afternoon because they just started to do COB, close of business. That's the plan. Elementary school. I have two classes I'll be doing the craft with. So today was two recesses and a class. And hmm. what else? I've been, I don't know if I said, but the contract, we accepted the contractor's bid. It's a friend's company. We get a friend discount and I'm gonna support local, support a friend. Plus they're able to get us in right away. They wanna start next week. So we're getting all these 
supplies in. The tiles are a little tricky. We're trying to get all the tiles. But I've also been doing a little bit each day of like going into these cabinets and throwing away things that are expired. This is like way less than there used to be. I was starting to see what the oldest thing would be like when it expired. And the winter was 2006, the year we moved in here. There was like some Benadryl cream that had fallen over on its side. So I'm gonna continue to deal with that. There's a massive trash bag out there of things I've been throwing away. So I'm gonna get all the junk out, clear everything. I've been clearing in that one too. And then the next phase will be packing up things I'm not gonna need for a month things I don't need very often like nail polish and stuff that I don't want to necessarily get rid of unless it's old and those can be packed up and put somewhere temporarily and then probably this weekend we'll focus on moving into that bathroom it's going to be a tight squeeze especially like at bedtime often Jax and I are doing some bedtime things at the same time so we're gonna it's gonna be some turns taking turns. Luckily in the mornings we are very staggered. Sebastian doesn't really do anything that takes time. Both boys don't really do much in the morning. They really should do more than they do, but they, it's mostly just pee. <laughs> so yeah, the mornings are fine. Yeah, I guess that's it. This is long because I've talked a lot. I'm sorry I can't film when I'm at the school obviously. My, besides the clip of me walking in, I just popped my phone into my backpack, which I wore until I was doing the classroom activity, then I put it on the teacher's desk. So my phone did not come out at all. I don't really get a signal. I get a signal, but I don't get my email. It seems to be blocked on there in the building. I don't know why I get them all when I leave. So yeah, it's going to be another day of not much. At the farm field trip, I'll try to film like me and Sebastian, but I can't film other kids, obviously. I do have a free app that lets me blur things, so if I get a good clip and somebody's in it, I can blur. So that's good, it's just a little bit finicky, but I'm gonna cut this off. Sebastian's supposed to be getting dressed and I hear him playing my ass. <laughs> I need to get changed, I already changed out of that sweater dress, but yeah, good night. I've made it through two days of volunteer week. Three to go. I will see you tomorrow. Stay safe. Be kind. And don't forget, wash your hands.